Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Take 5. My name is Calvin. I am one of the slightly humbled volunteers at River of Life. I had a very humbling experience last week um, where I got a phone call from my bank, or so it seemed, and it turns out I got scammed, and big time. I mean, they took me, us, for uh, quite a bit of money, and so, um, yeah, that was very humbling. Uh, thankfully, I was able to reverse that or have the bank reverse that, and so we came out whole, and, and it was all good, but um, I was humbled <laughs> to have been caught by scammers, which I thought I was very cautious and it wouldn't happen to me. And this morning, I just want to reflect with you a little bit on how to interpret that, you know, how we interpret the events in our lives uh, really impacts how we respond to them, how we understand our relationship with God, how we uh, live and act in the present, and then even how we look at our eternity. So uh, just some reflections, all right? So one of the things that could be a pretty natural response was self-loathing, <laughs> and I went right there. Uh, I was just so disgusted with myself for having been caught by these scammers. And I made a number of mistakes along the way, and it's appropriate for us at times to, you know, take ownership of what we've done and to respond accordingly, but uh, that, it doesn't help a whole lot to stay there, so I'll, uh, I'm mostly beyond that, uh, not entirely. Um, another way to respond, however, would be through uh, pride or through satisfaction that I called quickly. Um, so I made some mistakes, but the scammers also made some mistakes, and as a result, I called the bank right away and saw what was happening and was able to have that reversed. And so um, it'd be like, you know, the parable of the lost coin, where somebody lost a coin but then they found it again, and so I could take satisfaction in the fact that I responded quickly. And if I were to take that route, then you can imagine that my response would be probably um, some pride, uh, some gratitude, some con self congratulation. And what would that do for me in the present? Well, it would it would help me to be more confident, uh, help me to be more cautious help me to be more grateful and, yeah, to take um, uh, solace in my ability to, to catch that. And so I might feel secure in myself. Another response would be to uh, look at that situation and to say, well, uh, you know, clearly God is blessing me. I mean, here's this us. I mean, here's this, this money that just kind of disappeared. Boom and it's gone, and now it's back again, and so I could take, uh, you know, take that as a sign of God's love for me. And if I were to do that, um, which I did, then I would look at it, it as a gift that had been given to me. In fact, when I was on the phone with the gal at the bank, um, she was saying, well, that's a good thing you called right away because this is a wire transfer, and had it gone through, that money would be gone. And so we were talking about being thankful, and then I said, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful. And she said, thank God. And I said, oh, I, I absolutely am thanking God. And, and so that was my initial response, was to say, this is a gift. God is entrusting this to me, and so thankful for that. And, and so seeing that as a blessing that's been given to me, a natural response would be to say, what, what do I want to do with this? What do we uh, Calvin and Tina want to do with this money that has been given to us. And so that would have an impact on how we approach that money today. And then another response could be to say, you know what, God has entrusted that money to us. And he said, keep it safe, but also make it grow and use it wisely. Uh, generously with others, and I think about that, you know, I mean, that's the parable of the talents, right? 
um, God said, I'm, I'm entrusting this to you. And so God, in this situation, uh, he looked at the thieves and he says, wait a minute, <laughs> I entrusted that money to Calvin and Tina. And I'm going to let there be a learning experience for him, them, in this process. But that's my money. <laughs> and you thieves get your hands off of it. I'm going to make sure that it stays with them. And, and as you can imagine, um, not as much pride in that situation because I did make some mistakes. Certainly still some gratitude, but also some responsibility. And that's where Tina and I go more is to be thankful that God uh, intervened, but also to ask, okay, now that God has entrusted this money to us again, uh, what do we do with it? And obviously that's going to impact how we handle that money right now, how we look at it in the future, but I think even impacts how we look at eternity. Because in, in, in doing this, what we're really saying is, um, there's something else that's more important. That our reward, the greatest blessing that we have, is not here on this earth, here in this life, but it's in the life to come. So, all of that to simply say, how we interpret the events in our lives really does have an impact on us and how we respond to God, how we respond to people around us, how we respond to ourselves but also how we use that which has been entrusted to us. And so my question for you today is, whose money is in your wallet? Whose money is in your wallet? Um, or even uh, based on what you're going through, what you're experiencing today, how are you interpreting that? And for that I'm very thankful for the Holy Spirit because Jesus said that the Spirit would lead us into all truth the Spirit would help us to interpret things properly and then to respond accordingly. The Holy Spirit of God, we are thankful for your presence in our lives and we pray that you would open up our minds to be able to see as you see, to be able to understand as you want us to understand and therefore to respond as you would have us to respond. Whatever the situations are, whether it's financial or it's something else, uh, Lead us into all truth so that we can respond to you appropriately and that we can uh, work appropriately with what's been entrusted to us. Here are our prayers we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, may you have a spirit-led day and may the spirit lead you inside on occasion so that you can cool off in this hot weather we're having. Have a good one.